Right now, we're looking at a map of Afghanistan and South Asia. Commonly, Afghanistan, they say, is attributed to the Middle East when it's actually in South Asia. And it, there's some really interesting parallels that even just taking a look at a map, like you don't even necessarily have to be political, but it's like just making some very simple observations. Like, first of all, what countries does Afghanistan border? Iran and China. I wonder what their relation with the United States is. I wonder if the United States would like to have a country under its control in between two of its biggest adversaries. And during the 1970s as well, when the Soviet Union was active, all of these countries to the north were part of the Soviet Union, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan. So all of these countries were the Soviet Union. So in 1970s, in 1978, 1979, it really benefited the US imperialists to have Afghanistan because you had access to three enemies at the time, Iran, right, after the 1979 Islamic Revolution, China, of course, and the Soviet Union. So Afghanistan was very important geopolitically for U.S. dominance in the region. And as one of the comrades, Compañero Orlando, mentioned earlier in the stream, he made a great point that Afghanistan is also home to a lot of rare earth minerals, same way that the Democratic uh, Republic of Congo in Central Africa is that some of the rare minerals that you need for cell phones, for space travel, for energy are located in Afghanistan. So aside from opium and poppy, there's also the rare earth minerals. And even today, Afghanistan is the missing link between China and Iran in terms of the One Belt, One Road initiative. Pakistan has been trading with China and Iran, but it's not firmly uh, you know, an ally of China and Russia. So having Afghanistan under US control is very important. And not to mention the fact that Afghanistan, again, just looking at this, ma this map, right? The very eastern tip of Afghanistan touches the border of China. And what's the state that is located here in Western China is Xinjiang, which I'm probably mispronouncing my apologies to my Chinese homies. But Xinjiang is where the US is propping up all these stories about genocide about the Uyghurs being detained and they're trying to use claims that China is oppressing and locking up and mass murdering uh, Uyghur Muslims in China in this very state that it borders Afghanistan. And it's interesting because they tried to make that same claim in Afghanistan with the Mujahideen, with the Taliban, saying that the Soviets and the socialists were killing Muslims and these innocent people and they ended up being Wahhabis and radicals. And so it's just really interesting, even just looking at a map, like just taking time to do that. I don't think we do that enough in terms of the left, in terms of strategy, because we also have to understand this as they see this as a chessboard. The imperialists see this as one giant game for them to secure interest, resources, minerals, everything that is needed for the global economy. 